All right, so I went to Menards this morning, uh, looked at the pine pre-finished base, and then decided that the corner here wasn't going to work, um, and that I don't have any block material. So I looked at the pine and the, the blocking that they had that was in the molding section wasn't wide enough, so the baseboard would still stick past this. So then I went to the where they got like pine boards and found some small stock the same size of this which would be this is one by two I think so it's like three quarter by inch and a half something like that I'm like that'll work and then I'll, that was pre-finished or uh, unfinished pine so I'd have to pre-finish it or put a finish on it and then I saw that they had this cedar and I'm like well I'm using cedar on the other side I could use that but I'm like that's gonna look stupid with the pine and I like this rough Light here. I like the rough finish. I love the and I like the way cedar smells. So I went that way and I did some rough measuring. I didn't do exact measuring. And I kind of thought, well, I could fudge it to get it to work. So this first piece I laid in here was uh, the cedar piece here, and then I ended up going with like a three inch uh, by one or one by three, you know, which is like what this is three quarter by probably two and a half or something like that. I don't know, I could measure it and tell you. But uh, yeah, it's a little chunky. You know, it's obviously not base, but I like the way that looks. And uh, so I did, the, I put this one in first, cut this one down. So these are two eight foot lengths, which I got eight in the car. And then realized way up at the ceiling, or where the steps come, I'm going to need, I figured, a 10 foot piece. Well, turns out it was actually like a little more than 10. And as you get to the end there, I used a piece of this, which is actually a, the color is not exactly the same. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it doesn't look very finished like that, which bothers me. I thought this turned out well, and I'm like, kind of gives it a rustic look. Um, those cuts, I'm going to say, are really close for doing everything with an actual cross-cut saw by hand. Um, it's really hard to cut. I don't have a, a miter saw here, so it's really hard to cut a compound angle when you don't have a miter saw. So I did it all by hand, and then this is how I did it. Now this here, like I said, I don't like the way this looks. I don't know how I feel. You get to the end here, I just did a butt joint because I can't, uh, I can't do any back cutting because I'm doing what a, criss, uh, a cross saw, crisscross, crisscross? Cross cut, cross cut saw. So, and then uh, the angle here is, is pretty good. I mean, for what I did, and I ran some brads in because there's really nothing here, and I put some glue on it. I'll probably fill that in. But you can see the color looks different, and there's a big crack here. The thickness isn't the same either because you know it's rough cut. This is pretty close here. Ah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, would it be terrible to have to pull this piece off and buy a 12 foot piece? No. But uh, this 10 foot piece, I did get in the car and it just barely squeaked. That's with it being on the dash and sitting on the glass in the back of the car. So to get a 12, I have to use a trailer. I'm not doing that because I try to figure out my trailer runs with other items so that I'm not always constantly running with a trailer to Menards. So I don't know. And this, the thing, the other thing is, all three pieces, this 10 foot piece, this 8 foot piece, and the piece that runs up by the door there, I got 10 bucks in. That's it. Whereas the pre-finished piece of uh, pine molding I was going to buy that was only 7 feet long was 11 something. So I'm like, you know, I'm really not doing too bad here with the, what I got stuck into it. Um, yeah, that really looks hokey. Maybe, maybe get some fill some uh, wood fill and fill that in so it's not as obvious I might be I might be okay with that um, I don't know it's not a church it's I don't even know what this is but uh, I don't know for the 10 bucks that I got stuck into it that's what it looks like I don't know I like it and I may use that on the other side too um, and it was a lot easier than trying to figure out how you're going to make that fancy molding work out and spend that kind of money on molding. And, and I like the rough cut. I really I love this. So that's what it is. We'll see where I go from here.